Oh, we can touch your tips. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna if you're new and today <laughs> <laughs> Why did she gotta give me a warning? What do I say? <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna if you're new and I am back with my sister for a drawing tutorial. Oh wow! Yeah, so if you didn't know my sister is an art student. She's very good at drawing. Um, are you? Well, I'll believe that when I'm hired. <laughs> so today we're going to be using an app called Procreate and I don't know anything about digital drawing. So today I'm going to be learning how to digital draw digi how to draw digitally. <laughs> today we are going to draw a girl in 3 fourths view. Perfect. Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so you got to really verbalize what you're doing because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I hate verbalizing. Okay, let's start with a circle, shall we? All right. And this is going to represent the cranium. Center line. Okay, center line. What is the center line? The center line is the line in the center. And what does that mean? It means that it's the center of your face. Okay, so then that's like where her nose and shit is? Like, yeah. Okay. We are going to draw the brow line, which would be right through the middle of the circle we drew. We can... Uh, Carve out her eye socket. I don't like. Uh, you don't like it? <laughs> Ew, that looks bad. Alright, so just imagine that's like a cylinder cut out of it. Oh, interesting. Yes, because that's what eye socket looks like. Oh, like an actual cylinder? It's not like a hole? No, it is a hole, but it's like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, no We're worries. like simplifying it into like basic geometry. I kind of just wing where the chin is. There's like guidelines and stuff, but I don't remember where stuff is supposed to go. So imagine the side of the head, the center of the side of the head, and then we're just gonna draw a vertical line down, and then we're gonna connect that to the chin, and that would be the jaw. See, if I knew what I was doing, this would be great. <laughs> I already made a mistake because, because the cranium should be a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter, we'll just give her really big hair. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Fun fact, Irene was a TA for about two semesters. Yeah, like, I don't even know. I wasn't the one teaching, that's why. People just ask me questions. Honestly, I don't know how to explain this, because I just do what looks right to me. Which is really bad, because it's not a good way to teach. And the neck is basically a cylinder. The reason I wanted this drawing tutorial was because I suck at drawing people without a reference. Like, if I have a reference, I can copy that shit really well but i just don't know how to like draw from imagination yeah you gotta like no structure and stuff in anatomy yes which i'm not teaching you <laughs> <laughs> okay that's fine let's draw the eyes but we're gonna have to remember that the eyes are not flat shapes they are spheres and they are stuck inside the skull so we're gonna draw these balls and this is where the center line becomes very helpful yeah i already did the freaking guidelines wrong but whatever <laughs> so, so oh my god i hate this okay the nose is gonna be like somewhere here you know it was supposed to be the bottom of the freaking circle but i didn't do it right wow she looks so good <laughs> it looks like some creepy ass doctor who mannequin shit oh yeah it does it looks like those mask thingies top of the ear is gonna hit that line i think or i don't know don't quote me on it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. So uh, when we're drawing the eyes, quote unquote, we're kind of just drawing around it. So this would be the top lid. We're not using a reference or anything, so they can literally just look like whatever you want. I make the bottom lid a little straighter. <laughs> Mine looks busted. <laughs> it looks like that meme. <laughs> what meme? I don't know, one of those meme heads. <laughs> All right, and she's gonna look a little creepy because the eyeballs. Let's erase that because it looks terrifying. <laughs> and then so you draw. You have to draw the circle first. You have yeah, to draw yeah, the yeah. eye first, and then you draw the eyelids instead of just drawing the eye. Well, you could draw the eye, but it's helpful if you like know what's going under. My eyes are smaller. Than we yours. could make them bigger then. I don't know how. She looks like a dude. Oh, you know why? Because I think your cheek is a little like up there. Well, just like draw a straight line. Oh, <laughs> like like you know carve it out a little bit. Like so? Yes, ma'am. Oh, why does that look more masculine? What? When she has a big cheek. I don't know, because her face is bigger. 
You guys have bigger faces? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't know. For me, I think her eyes are a little lopsided. So let's push it up a little because we can. How do you make it bigger? I want to make it a little bigger. Purple. What you want to select? No. <laughs> and then make it bigger. No. Oh, we should have drawn each other. That'd be fun. Seriously? No. I hate drawing you. <laughs> like, Anna doesn't look like me. Oh my god. <laughs> I never tried you again. All right, let's draw. Let's draw the pupils. Alrighty. Um, let's make a look over here. How am I doing so far? <laughs> How am I doing so far? All right. Really? Yeah. So if I was a student in a class that you TA'd for, what would you tell me? I don't think you should be in art school. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh my god. Have you ever told anyone that? That's rude. No, that is really rude. But I heard someone who did. Someone who did? I overheard someone. Really? A TA did that? No, not a TA, just like a student. <laughs> a student who said that to another student? No, not to their faces. It was like a private conversation, but I was eavesdropping. <laughs> God, art school students are so vile. They are. You know, there's that vibe. Why is there that vibe? It's like, it's like that social climbing. Not like social climbing, it's like networking and like getting that job and stuff. Oh, who knew art was like that? No, yeah, it was like commercial, commercial art. The animation slash game industry is like super competitive and are very toxic, I heard. Do you have like a video game major at your school? Yeah, the, um, it's like a concept, concept major and like they focus on games. Why does mine still look like a dude? That's because we haven't drawn the rest of her face. <laughs> okay. It's the lips, probably. Okay, let's draw her. Let's draw her nose. Because as we all know, guys don't have lips. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the white ones. <laughs> okay. She looks like a rambunctious teenage girl. The lips. We gotta draw the lips. Let's give her a cupid's bow. And that would be right in the center line, as it should be. Oh, I don't have a motherfucking center line anymore. Aw. It's crooked. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, who needs guidelines anyways? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Do you think that it's necessary to use guidelines every time you draw? Not a person. Time. It's like important for beginners because you gotta like you know, drill that structure into your brain. But once you get like once you draw for like a while, once like you know what's happening, so you don't need to waste time. Oh, I okay. see. So the corner of the mouth usually would be in the center of the eyes. But it depends on from person to person what kind of look you're going for. I'm gonna give her some fat lips. Yeah, man. Okay, and then we can just like connect it. <laughs> oh, wow! I've never drawn lips like this. Yeah. How fun. Gotta like draw around it. She looks mad. She's like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, what kind of hair? Let's do whatever hair you want. I don't know what hair I want. Though. Okay, let's let's do one where like they have like those those like those model hair, 90s supermodel hair. I don't you know, know what that the, is. With the little bang, bang hood. Oh, thing. like Ariel? Yeah, sort of, but not Ariel. Yeah, she has that side part. She's a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> okay, let's draw the hairline. And that's gonna look like a helmet. Why are you going so dark? <laughs> I don't have any control over it. Okay. Something's wrong with your pencil, bro. You gotta change your names or something. <laughs> Can she have a middle part? Oh, okay. I don't know how to draw that good. It just looks like Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I suck at? I suck at, um, hair. Me too. Oh. So I guess we're screwed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, she looks so bad. Oh, I just realized I don't know what I'm doing. I just do it. Mmm. Mood. Or maybe I do know, I just don't know how to say it. Mine kind of looks like a young Angelina Jolie, except that's insulting to Angelina Jolie. A little bit. Should we just like get rid of her ear? Like, I don't want to draw that ear. Yeah, let's fucking get rid of it. I don't like her face. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Me neither. I think you don't know. Hey, it's kind of coming together. Is it though? Oh, how do you liquefy again? You go to the magic wand up here. Let's facetune her. Yeah, facetune. Mm -hmm. what in, who needs whatever? <laughs> it's like a fight. Mm, you can. <clears throat> what do you think could be improved on your drawing? The hair. <laughs> the hair is really bad. I can't help you there. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. <laughs>
Sister has mental breakdown while teaching me how to draw. This is a new YouTube video title. <laughs> oh. I don't hate it now. Okay, good. That's where we want to be. Well, if we're okay with it, now we can solidify it in ink. So let's make a new layer. You don't have to do what I'm doing, man. It's just kind of small. No. Oh, no. What happened? I feel like I unliquefied everything. Redo it. Oh, okay. You didn't do it. You don't liquefy it. Why does she look so bad all of a sudden? Maybe because you zoomed out. <laughs> Make a new layer for Nana. How do you do it? Me? <laughs> oh, this this square part. Okay. Yeah, and then plus, and then we can rename it to line art, so we don't get confused. Of. And Kang, and he's Mercury. Hmm. Black or brown? Mm -hmm. Um. Let's do like a really saturated deep, deepish ready color. And then we can lower the opacity of the sketch layer. Um, press the N. And let's just trace. Trace her. Trace her. Yes. Clean it up. Clean it up, son. Alright, so what's the point of this? Still looks good. <laughs> do you always do line art? Depends. When do you decide not to do it? When it's just a sketch. Oh. So do you line all your drawings? I know there are some where you do that is like not lined. Yeah, that was like, that was like a phase. A phase where you're trying to decide on your style. Yeah, like I took digital painting last year and we didn't do any lines. So, so I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do any lines. But no, it's too much work for me. I need my lines, I like my lines. <laughs> okay. I noticed that you draw eyebrows like kind of upturned, kind of like worried. Oh yeah, it just gives it more attitude. You like worried eyebrows. I don't want her to just look like the passive smiley face emoji. <laughs> oh, that's like the default smiley face emoji. Like when you would do colon parentheses, yeah. you get like the most passive smiley face ever. It's so passive aggressive. <laughs> I it's know. like, hey guys, turn in the work. <laughs> I did that once and I apologized. I was like, oh shit, that looks so passive aggressive. <laughs> My bad. So you want to like thicken the lines where there's shadow, quote unquote shadow. Oh, okay. So like imagine if the light is coming from up here. So like the bottom of the nose would be like a thicker line because that's where the shadow is. And the same thing for the lash line. Oh, that's cool. See, I thought you were just, you could have said that earlier. Yeah, I could have, but I didn't because I suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good tip. It is, I learned that in freshman year. Oh, so you do learn things from art school. Yeah, I do. You're just not, you know, that much money worth. You could have learned that from some guy on the internet. I really could have. But I don't know which guy. Mm. There's lots of guys on the internet. <laughs> there are. How do you how do you do brow hairs? Because like at a certain point you have to like turn them the other way, right? Oh yeah. I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> really matter. You just color it in the end. <laughs> oh, okay, mood. Are there ever times where you just like can't draw a line? Well, yes. That used to happen more when I had my screenless tablet. <clears throat> it's harder. So I just control Z like 30 times until I get the perfect line. <sighs> I feel like mine isn't as pressure sensitive as yours. You should make your brush bigger. Here? Yeah. It is pressure sensitive! You just don't want to use it! <laughs> well, shit! <laughs> I'm such a good teacher, it's so encouraging. <laughs> I know. You suck, you know how to do this! Oh my god, once I was trying to help this girl in, in my TA in class and she was like missing like a really important shadow and I was like, do you see that shadow over there? And she's like, no. <laughs> and I was like, well shit, I don't know what to do. You have to point it out. I did. <laughs> what, did you, what did you do after she said no? I don't know, I forgot, I just blacked out. I love drawing on like eye makeup and like eyelashes and stuff. It's my favorite part of drawing people. Oh yeah. Finishing touches. So how do you determine the shape of the hair? <sighs> well, it's kind of like an intuitive thing. Oh. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I don't think there's like a way to explain it anyways. Just, I don't know, make like an appealing shape to you. Whatever that's you think, very helpful. <laughs> whatever you think looks good, because that's just my logic. Alrighty. <laughs> How do you con converge the hair to like one single point? Just do it. Yeah. You can like hide your sketch layer at some point to see if it looks busted or not. <laughs> it probably does. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
it. It's not the worst. So in Procreate, you tap with two fingers to, to undo. undo, right? It's very convenient. How many times have you done that on actual paper after you got Procreate? Many times. <laughs> oh god, you added so much lines on the hair <laughs> without even telling me. Oh my god. Okay, well, here's my logic. This is like the back part. You should have like a back part and like a front part. Aww. It's like this is the back part and then this part is the front part. Oh my god. You don't get it? What part of that did you get? I see it. No. <laughs> Do you see that shadow over there? No. no. <laughs> is that exactly that she said? <laughs> yeah. She's like, no. drawing hair it's like the worst me too yeah you gotta be selective with where you put the lines because you don't want to put it everywhere otherwise it just looks weird so put it put put more detail in parts where there's like shadow yeah so like the, um, the hood part and like the back part in here I'm so stressed what are you trying to do uh, fix her face line oh <laughs> it'll look it'll look good when you color it in and give her like makeup <laughs> Oh, just like in real life. When did you draw those little eye bag thingies? And you didn't even tell me. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay, well now we can like add little eye bag thingies. <laughs> and like little little tiny details to make the line art less boring. Like under the nose where the shadow is. Mm. And the top lip and of course under the chin, the neck. Oh my god, let's make her a mermaid. <laughs> no. Okay, well I gotta make mine a mermaid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so are you satisfied with how it looks? No, I think I'm gonna liquefy for a little bit. Alright, go ahead. And don't forget to erase her eyebrow. This isn't an anime. It doesn't pop out there. Oh my god! I'm horrified. <laughs> anime! No! You know, there's like no such thing as a guy who doesn't like anime anymore. Really? Every single guy I, I come across, they're like, oh, I love anime. Everyone's the weebiest of the weebs. <laughs> You gotta be stingy with your lines. Don't wanna make it too much lines. Very distracting. She's gotta have thicker eyebrows because it's not 2000, honey. That's the year you were born. It was. How do you feel about the year you were born people having sperm brows? What? Oh, sperm brows? Um, that was a disaster. Aren't you glad that you never had sperm brows? I don't think I can pull it off. Sperm brows? Yeah. Who can pull off sperm brows? I don't know. But I definitely can't pull it off. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> All right. Let's color her. Let's 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 make another layer for her skin, and then we're gonna rename this to skin, so we don't get confuzzled. And that would be underneath the line art layer. Mm. She's gonna be pale like me. Oh hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that white? <laughs> <laughs> That's straight up pink. <laughs> pale like me. Anyways. And then we're gonna grab like a really big brush from the airbrush section. Color it in, son. Okay. So why are we allowed to color it like this? Okay, because we're gonna make another layer on top. And since her skin's like surrounded by her hair most of the part, it's just gonna cover it up. Mm. But we're gonna have to like clean this part up where the hair is surrounding her. <clears throat> See, I can answer questions, but I can't like teach. You know, there are a lot of teachers that I had who couldn't teach. <laughs> Me too. Really didn't know how. I know. Oh my god. They're very talented, very um they are. They know but they know what they're doing, but they don't know how to like tell other people how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's so many teachers like that. Anyways, new layer. And we're gonna rename that to hair. And then we're gonna pick a color for her hair. I'm gonna try something wacky. Yeah, if I hate it, I'll just change it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What hair color? Ooh, you know, I always wanted to do like a dark forest green. Oh, yes, how nice. Especially. I used to have a drawing like that. Oh, what did you do? Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna select the hair shape with our selection tool. And then we're gonna use. I'm just gonna fill it in because I don't wanna color it in. That's lame. That's for lamos. Fuck. I ended the thing. Oh, well, just keep going. You can make a new shape. <coughs> Oh, very nice. I think I need a whole other lesson on how to, like, end hair. I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> <laughs> you 
had to find some guy on the internet. <laughs> I mean, that's how I made it through college. You're awfully slow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You better be patient with me. <clears throat> oh my god, that's really hard. What's hard? Penis. I can't say that on national television. <laughs> What are you trying to do, son? I try to make this border less harsh. Oh, okay. What? Erase it. How? That's really hard. Okay, go on the soft brush and then make the thing little. Yeah. That. Oh, there. That's much better. Now what? What did you do? Oh, you did the eyeballs. Yeah, I cut out her eyeballs. That's really morbid. It is. It's super gross. Okay. Did you cut it out or did you fill it in? I filled it in. Okay, that's fine too. Well, you can color in her pubes, irises, her pubes. <laughs> We're not drawing that today. Ooh, red eyes. Are you serious right now? <laughs> you know, this isn't a color theory lesson. <laughs> but don't do that. She looks like a Christmas demon. <laughs> Let's just do like a bright, this color. Orange. <laughs> wow, that's so much better. Mm. Or maybe a yellow. Like a gold, yeah, something like no that. No one wants yellow eyes. That's jaundice. What is it? I did something. What? I can't get out. It froze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you do? What did you do with that? The under eye thing. Oh, I just made it pink. <laughs> oh my god! You keep doing things without telling me. <laughs> you're me. so slow. I was gonna tell you when you're done. Motherfucker. <laughs> Too big. That's what she said. <sighs> Ooh, very sad. Her. Do you look like a carrot? <laughs> okay, let's make it tall, darker because it's facing away from the light. Our imaginary light source is from above. Let's do some very basic shadows, and we're gonna select the neck. Area. And then we are going to do under the eye. Well, not under the eye, just like above the eye. Oh, like this area. Like that eyeshadow area. The eye socket area, yes. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna select the nose. This is just my shorthand version. And the area, the tiny area under the leaps as well. Okay, and then we're gonna pick a slightly darker color than the skin. Ah! No, stop! She looks like a good disease! We're gonna take our big soft brush. <laughs> okay. And then we're just gonna shade it in, but make sure not to like get those harsh edges you made. Just like use that soft edge to create the soft edge where you want it. And then we're gonna do like a really soft gradient. What layer are you on? I don't know. Oh my god, you're on the hair layer. <laughs> you didn't tell it. <laughs> what? We're working on the skin. Obviously, we should be on the skin layer. This is why we named it. <laughs> it's not obvious to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, I have to make it less like harsh. I know how to do this. I know. So I have to select the the same color that the skin was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna soften this up. Okay, that's better. That's much better. Okay, and then I just added some shading to the side of her face where her hair is just like kind of like going over it. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's add blushies. Alrighty, I'm gonna actually use the same color for blush because it's kind of pink. Oh, I love the makeup part. It is very fun, isn't it? Oh my gosh, she's hideous. Is it the hair? I think it might be. Okay, you can change it. Do you want to change it? No. Are you sure? Are you gonna Because we're going to add dimension to it, right? Okay, but like... <laughs> the color. No, I think it's her, it's her face. I think there's something wrong with her face. What's wrong? I don't know. I can't pinpoint it. There's just something wrong. What's oh. wrong, I asked. As if I'm not the one teaching you how to do this. Okay, I guess we can do highlight now. I like to go under the eyes. Cause like that's the part where the light's coming down from. We do like a triangle, like the concealer stuff. Oh. 
be like really really subtle about it though don't want to make it look crazy okay let's alpha lock the hair layer and that's just gonna keep everything inside what you already drew okay pick a slightly darker color than her hair and like the it in sun Ooh, <laughs> that's cool yeah and under her hood the knee so you're trying to define those like you know can shape it out mm. <laughs> you say that as if you know what i'm talking about even i don't know what i'm talking about oh my god dude i had a teacher last year and i was like he was like talking and talking and talking and he'd be like does anyone know what i'm talking about and then people would like nod <laughs> I know for a fact nobody knew what he was talking about. And he like pick on people and be like, what am I talking about? And he picked on me once and I was like, I tried to explain it. And he's like, no. And I'm just like, what did I be so rude for? Oh, we can like bring out this front piece. How do you do that? Just to make it a lighter color. Can we do her eyes now? She's like really creeping me out. <laughs> okay, that's because you chose yellow as her eye color. I'm getting used to procreate now. That's good. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? I'm making highlights. Highlights on the eyeballs. That's why I didn't use like pure white in the beginning, so you can make that highlight pop. Oh. Did you use pure white? Yes. Oh. So can we do her iris now? Yeah, yeah. We can like shade, pick a darker color, and then shade on top, and maybe around if you would like as well. Looks like a tiger. So her hair is kind of looking sharp at the bottom, and I want to, I want to fix, I want to fix it. I want to liquefy it so that it's smoother, but it won't let me because it's on two separate layer, layers, the line art and the hair. So should I just combine the line art and the hair? I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Can I undo that? No. <laughs> I'm going rogue now. Okay. Questionable. But you know, I wasn't I wasn't doing a good job with you anyways. <laughs> What's the worst thing to happen? <laughs> oh, famous last words. I hate drawing hair. It's my least favorite part. It used to be my favorite part. Really? What yeah. happened? I don't know. I guess I just forgot how to do it. <laughs> oh, I guess it's kinda like me with leg day. I used to really like leg day, but then after a while, it just got really tiring. Why would you want to hurt yourself like that? <laughs> so that you don't <laughs> turn decrepit. And you can live a long life, and you can get endorphins every day without doing drugs. <laughs> it's a pretty good reason to me. There's just something severely wrong with her. I can't pinpoint it. Is it because her skin's hella pale? It might be that! Wait, you know what look better? If you made the background a little darker, so her skin popped. Mmm. So I made mine kind of the gray. How do you do that? Just uh, go on the layers, and then background color, and you can pick your color. Oh my god! That's demonic! <laughs> Ew! You see how she's transparent? Yeah, just like you. Oh my god. Are you done like messing around or what? <laughs> Hold on! I'm giving her more lashes, but it's not working. What do you mean it's not working? It's ugly. Oh. My condolences. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> Me as an art teacher. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. I wish there was something I could do to help. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done. You are? Emotionally. Do you I wanna, can't go on anymore. Do you want to add wispy strands? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's add a wispy strands. <laughs> let's go in inking. This is the special part. Is this your favorite part? No. <laughs> oh. Is your favorite part drawing on the makeup? I do, I like the blush part. It's fun, huh? It just makes them look alive. Well, you can, you can do whatever you want. Well, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. <laughs> so you're adding like a glow? Yeah, from like underneath. I want her to be a mermaid, I told you. <laughs> okay. How did you do that glow thing? Well, you make a new layer, and then you press the N, and then you go all the way down to add, and that's just gonna make everything super nice and shiny and glowy. You can pick whatever color you want. Red? What's wrong with you? Why are you insist on making the most demonic character? I mean, she's already hella pale, so it's not as... Oh, wow, how cute. Oh, it really does look like there's like a glowing shadow thing. 
Yeah, have fun. I learned. I was not very good, but. Dude, can you do me a favor? Can you help me fix this yeah. side? I don't know how to do it. Okay. <laughs> Here, you can take mine. <laughs> I did this. What's wrong with this side? <laughs> Are you asking me because you don't know, or asking me because you don't know how that happened? Dude, you merged the freaking line art and the hair. It's gonna be hard. Why can't you just draw something on top? <gasps> okay, let's see. Let's turn off this first. <laughs> Shit. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because it's so bad. <laughs> like, dude, what's wrong with it? Did like the shape, or is it like the shape? The shape. Look at that. It's all like. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> good lord, what happened? <sighs> oh, much better. Really? Already? <laughs> yeah, it's smooth now. I don't understand why you gotta make the most jagged lines. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know how to make it smooth. What do you mean? <laughs> you just make it smooth. Okay, you know what? That's good enough for me. Good enough. Thank you. You sure you don't want to change the hair? Yeah, I'm good. I, I like it green. <laughs> you know, that's she kinda... looks like a carrot or a flag. I don't know which country. <laughs> cool. You made a drawing. I did. Okay, it's time for you to grade me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Like um A B C D. I don't know. Whatever your grading scale is. Out of ten. Oh, out of ten. Ten being the best. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For me, for me. You have to take into account that this is me not knowing how to digital draw, okay? <laughs> you know, I, I find that really hard to do. What? Like, make accommodations because someone's a beginner. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Based on your own standards, then. That's an F, son. Ah! On my own standards. But for you, I'd say a B minus. <laughs> best that I could do based on my skill oh based on your skill you know I haven't seen you draw a person in a while oh this is bad I had one job all I had to do was copy you <laughs> it doesn't even look the same <laughs> <laughs> they're facing the same way I guess that's the idea yeah uh, it's your own fault for giving me creative freedom with the colors I know I should not have done that yeah anyways Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today's video. Make sure to follow Irene at beanirene18 yeah. on Instagram. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.